Good morning, y'all. It's your girl T and we are going to get started with our affirmations this morning, as well as a little talk and a little card pull. Happy day after the 4th of July. I feel like it's a Monday today. Like I have a fresh new start. I got to sleep in yesterday. I got to revitalize my brain, my health, my, my just natural juju. I got to rest. I got to go to the pool. I hope you were able to do something fun yesterday too and rest and relax if you're in the U.S. Happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. Welcome to the land of the free, the home of the brave. If you are watching from a different country, let me know. I, I have been reaching across the globe, so it's really interesting to see where you guys are coming in from. Say good morning if you're here live. Say a two, drop a two in the chat if you're here on the replay. And we're going to go ahead and start the affirmations. Debbie Neal is going to lead us through it. Okay. She says it. We repeat it. I have the blessing of looking into my own eyes when I repeat these words. And trust me, it helps. If you're able to look into a mirror while saying these words too, awesome. If you're not able to, it's totally okay. Just repeat the words. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. Affirmations are confidence. confidence. Affirmations. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. I am confident. I am confident. I am bold. I am bold. I am strong. I am strong. I am more than capable. I am more than capable. I have the power to do and create anything I want. I have the power to do and create anything I, I want. I am an overcomer. I am an overcomer. I am a beautiful person. I am a beautiful person. I am loved. I am loved. I am worthy. I am worthy. My life is a miracle. And I am grateful for it. My life is a miracle and I am grateful Every for it. Every day I become braver, bolder, and more powerful. Every day I become braver I am and more powerful. I am capable. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am unique. I am unique. I am excited for today. I'm excited for today. I am ready. I am ready. There are over seven billion humans but only one me there are over seven billion humans but I only one can me. and will achieve greatness i can and will achieve greatness i am the author of my life i am the author of my life i am a visionary i am a visionary i am a warrior i am a warrior i radiate joy i radiate joy i am in control of my thoughts and my feelings. I am in control of my thoughts and my Every feelings. Every day, I take steps to make my dreams a reality. Every day, I take steps to make my dreams a reality. My possibilities are endless. My possibilities are endless. I am limitless. I am limitless. I am proud of myself. I am proud of myself. I am blessed with a wonderful family. I'm blessed with a wonderful family. I am blessed with amazing friends. I am blessed with amazing I friends. I am surrounded by people who lift me up. I am surrounded by people who lift me up. I lift others up. I lift others up. I radiate high vibe energy. I radiate high vibe energy. People feel better in my presence. People feel better in my presence. I excel at everything I do. I excel at everything my I do. My goals and dreams are 100% possible. My goals and dreams are 100% possible. I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. I love growth and success. I love growth and success. I trust myself. I trust myself. I am talented and smart. I am talented and smart. I am courageous. I am courageous. I am brave. I am brave. I am doing my best. I am doing my best. I can achieve anything I set my mm. mind to. I can achieve anything I set my mind to. I am in control of my life. I am in control of my life. I deserve the best. I deserve the best. I accept 
the best. I accept the best. Today Thank you. Today is going to be a great day. Today is going to be a great day. My potential to succeed is infinite. My potential to succeed is infinite. There is power within me. There is power within me. I am full of life. I am full of life. I wake every day with new energy and optimism. I wake every day with new energy and optimism. I attract positive people. I attract positive people. Prosperity flows through me at all times. Prosperity throws, flows through me at all times. I am successful in everything I do. I am successful in everything I do. I am a powerful creator. I am a powerful creator. Whoosa. Whoosa, y'all. And so it is. And so it shall be. Ugh. Those were good. That was like full. F wow. Four minutes and 44 seconds. Four, four, four. That means something. Wow. If you love those, drop me a three in the chat below. Drop me a three. It is important to remember like the inner fire, the inner bravery, the inner strength that we have, that we've been given, that we deserve, that we have been gifted, all of the things. I am super grateful for the power that's within me that I'm able to display on a daily basis. I am not always brave, but I do tell myself I'm courageous because when I get into a certain situation and I really don't know what to do or where to go, I listen to my inner intuition and I follow it. And so a lot of people think, wow, T, you are brave. You push this little live button. You do these affirmations. You do this, all this positive stuff and all this, like, sometimes I question myself. I'm like, why am I here? <laughs> why am I doing this? But I do it for me. And I know so many other people. I mean, I see the threes coming through. You get it too. Like you need it to, you need to hear these words because you don't hear these words anywhere else in your household, in your workplace, with, uh, out in, like when you're getting lunch, <laughs> wherever you're going during the day, you don't hear it in your car. You need to hear it sometime that you are powerful. You have the, the power, you have the intuition, you have everything inside of you to make your shit happen today. So cheers to that. It's time to hydrate. PJ, good morning. Good morning, my friend. Happy 4th of July. I hope you had a wonderful 4th of July. Wonderful, wonderful 4th of July. Those affirmations were, were from Debbie Neal, and I'll go ahead and drop her information in the show comments and um, look her up. Like she has an amazing podcast with the affirmations that pair with the podcast she does, which is really helpful. So she'll teach on a subject, you know, like she'll teach on confidence and she'll give you some examples of things that she's gone through and situations that she's gone through. Just like I give you guys examples of situations that I've gone through. And then we do affirmations together. Um, it may seem a little woo woo. It may seem a little crazy, but I promise you my mindset has shifted. My life has changed ever since I started doing those every single day, every single day. Whew. Yesterday's cards were amazing. We had the unicorn card that we pulled. Remember um, that we have divine intuition and we have a lot of energy, a lot of power within us to make stuff happen, to make our life happen, to make it better, to make it improved so that we feel better. We're living to a fuller potential. I love to think that I'm living to my fullest potential, right? If you feel the same way, like I'd love to live to my fullest, drop me a five. But sometimes I feel like I kind of lack in that area. So um, it's a good reminder that everything is within me. Just keep on moving forward. Keep on going. You guys can say good morning if you're joining in live. If you're listening to this on the replay, hello. You can drop me a two in the comments. Let's go ahead and get our card read. Okay, let's do this. One, two, three. <laughs> I was gonna choose one on top, but I chose. What the hell? Y'all, I just drew. Okay, this is not cool. I just drew this one. 
like two days ago. That means there's something, like something is in the air. Because it's either this one, or it's the release from drama, or it's the remember, like, who you are. We need to do another one. <laughs> I'm going to take your permission that we're just going to do another one today, too. And I swear, if it's the same, whatever. It's going to be okay. This one was called Breathe in Bliss, Exhale Bullshit. It's aligning our chakras. Just whew, align. Like I said yesterday, I took a little bit of time off and it felt really, really good to just rest and relax. Oh, that's upside down. <laughs> okay, okay. Yo, Brittany, okay, smack me slide, slap me sideways, whatever. This is stay away from drama today. That's exactly what I had in my mind of like, we've drawn this card, we've drawn the drama card, we've drawn the... Unicorn reminder of who you are. Let's do the stay away from drama first. This is going to be good. Time. Are we on time? We are on time. Okay, let's do this. What's up, Judy? Hello, Colleen. Stay away from drama today. Do yourself a favor and stay away from drama. It's easy to get sucked into the chaos of others through the ever-changing landscape of social media and life. If you've been finding yourself in comparison syndrome or surrounded by negativity, it's time to step away and take a detox from drama. Empaths are especially sensitive to negativity and drama is an energy drainer. To protect your energy, you must spend some time alone to regenerate your energy and protect your boundaries. You can spend time in nature to restore your connection to vital life force energy, soak in a hot Epsom salt bath, or get quiet in a relaxing meditation. Whatever is available to you now, it's important that you take a little hashtag you time today. Drama shows up in our lives in many different ways from social media to the TV shows we consume and to the people we surround ourselves with. Some people in our households bring drama. Because we're constantly being bombarded by the thoughts and opinions of others, it can easily become overwhelming if we don't know how to disconnect from drama. If you've pulled this card, it's time to withdraw from the drama of others and reconnect with yourself. They say the five closest people you surround yourself with contribute to your quality of life. Take a moment to reflect on who you spend your time with and how they make you feel. Do they bring out the best in you or do they drain you and drag you down? You have the personal power to choose who you connect with. So make sure the people you spend your time with are a reflection of who you'd like to become. I'm in charge of how I spend my time and today I choose to be drama free. Remember, make sure the people you spend your time with are a reflection of who you'd like to become. So true. So true. And it's interesting because there are people I surround myself with that have great qualities and they bring out some good in me and they support me. And I know that they love me because they tell me they love me. They tell me they support me. Right. But sometimes, sometimes it is easy for me to forget my boundaries and not protect my energy boundaries because there could be negativity going on in their life, stress going on with them, um, anxieties that they go through and insecurities that they go through that when they talk about them to me, it's possible that I take them on myself. Like, like it says, empaths are especially sensitive to negativity. Drama is an energy drainer. So when you hear your friends talking about, oh, so-and-so did this and so-and-so is like this and this person, can you believe what they did? And it's like drama, 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 drama. It's draining your energy. To protect your energy, you must spend some time alone to regenerate and protect your boundaries. I needed that today. I needed that. Because as much as I love helping other people, being a listening ear, um... And just, you know, like I say, just being a good person and being there for the people that I love, like the people, especially in my inner circle. 
Sometimes it can be just a little bit of an energy drainer if I don't protect my boundaries and let go of their drama, and it doesn't include my life, you know, and, uh, and restore my life force energy. Okay, whew, I needed that reminder today. I needed that reminder. So for all of you, if you loved that one, drop me a five in the chat. Stay away from drama today if you needed to hear that. Okay, next card, last but not least, the one that we've pulled at least three times in the past week. <sighs> and it kind of goes along with what we just said. So this is breathe in bliss and exhale the BS, aka bullshit. Give yourself permission to pause and get hashtag blissed out. Hashtag. Woosa. Doesn't it feel good to just stop and pause for a moment? Let's face it. Life happens. One minute we're vibing high and the next we're hit with some hard news that brings us spiraling back down to earth. Your breath is a powerful tool that can eliminate buildup frustration and increase overall calmness. Without it, you wouldn't survive. When you start to take conscious control of your breathing, you can begin to slow down your overthinking mind. Hello, stress center. Just a few moments of deep intentional breathing has shown to reduce stress, alleviate anxiety, and bring on a sense of peacefulness. You don't have to meditate in the Himalayas to find your bliss. When feeling overwhelmed with stress, you can automatically ease your anger and soothe your anxiety by taking 10 long, deep, full body breaths. Inhale and exhale to the count of four and allow the breath to fill up your entire body, expand your belly and let your neck and shoulders relax. As you exhale, allow yourself to completely let go. Release the stress, the doubt, the worry, the fear, the anger, the impatience, the blame, the resentment, the fear, the frustration, the pain, and anything else that's weighing you down. Breath, your breath anchors you into the present moment. This quick meditation will help you melt away the bullshit of the day and align your seven main energy centers called chakras. Set a timer for 10 minutes and breathe in bliss. I give myself permission to pause and breathe in bliss today. Remember, your breath anchors you into the present moment. Wow. Okay, we're going to do a breath exercise before we jump off. Good morning, Stephanie. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for saying good morning. Okay, so I learned this breath exercise from one of my Facebook friends. She sent it to me, so shout out to her. She knows who she is. When you breathe in, you can do a full body breath. You can fill up your lungs. After you feel like your lungs are full, take an extra second to take an extra breath to see if you can get a little bit more air in there. And then release. And when you release, let your shoulders relax. Let your whole upper body just relax. So we're going to try it. Take a deep breath. After you feel like you've taken the deepest of deepest breaths, try a little bit extra a little bit extra air, and then release. We're going to do this four times in a row, and I guarantee you it is going to trigger the center in your brain that's for stress and release. It's going to be amazing. So let's go. That's one. That's two. Three, wow. Four. I actually feel a little lightheaded. I got like more, more oxygen to my brain. <laughs> that I have all day so far. Whew. Try it out. Breathe in. Slower your stress centers by just focusing on your breath. All right, guys. 
Thank you guys so much for joining in. Thank you for following. Thank you for sharing this out. Remember, our affirmations happen every single morning, 8.30 a.m. Central, here on my Facebook page. If you watch this at a later time or join in the YouTube or the podcast, thank you so much for joining in as well as sharing. Sharing is caring, y'all. And I care about you, and I'm so glad that you returned the favor. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.